So today, guys, we'll be talking about the new SMG called Ouroboros. The video is how do you guys get this new exotic SMG? So if you go over to your incursion, this Paradise Lost incursion is the only way this exotic currently drops. Now, this is brand new. And once you play this, you can actually do this in duels. I've seen the two man team actually do this. Very impressed by that. Or obviously, if you have a four man team, it's going to be the better chance of doing that. Now, each boss, which there are four total, you have in the second area, you have your first boss. In the third area, you have your second boss. And then the lovebirds are your final two bosses. Each of those bosses have a 1% chance to drop it. Whether you do it one time, two times, three times a week, always 1% chance. Now, every week when you kill the final bosses, you'll get one key. And that one key can open the chest at the end. And in that chest, you have a 10% chance of getting the new exotic or you guaranteed one exotic. So one exotic is guaranteed from that chest, but you have a 10% chance of getting Ouroboros. Now, what I will tell you though, is if you're smart, you'll make four characters and you'll do it four times on those characters. So just swap over the gear to one another character and that's what we've been doing. We've been going from one character to the other character and then we've completed it four different times and then we were able to get it. And the good thing about this is, say if you get one on your first run and you do it with the four man squad and you guys do it again and you get another one, you can share it. Like the first one I got was actually shared from my clan member who already had one. He actually got two of the exotic SMGs, one from the boss shop and then one again from the chest. And he already had got one from the chest before. His RNG was definitely lucky every time we ran it. And then our other teammate actually got one himself. So all four team members got Ouroboros. So it's really up to you on how much you wanna do this. If you wanna wait weekly, every week you have one chance from that box. But what you can do is you can continue to do it over and over and over, and you have a 1% chance from the bosses and getting kind of lucky. So it is just a 1% chance, but I've seen a lot of people get them from the boss drops and it's kind of weird to see, you know? So it might be a little bit higher, but what they said in the live stream was that it was a 1% chance from the bosses and then a 10% chance from the box. So that is how you guys can get this weapon. And now what I wanna do is show you some changes they did from the PTS. So the big change from the PTS is the RPM went down. During the PTS, it was at 1650 and it went down to 1485. So the base RPM on this weapon used to be 1500 and they dropped it to 1350. And the reason why it's 1485 is because if you look, it has a muzzle that's giving it 10% rate of fire. So that's how you're getting that 1485. So during the PTS, it was 1650 and then they dropped it to 1485. Everything else stayed the same. Like if you compare this Ouroboros to, let's go my Dark Winter, I don't have one that's that high. So it has the same damage as the Vector SVR, whether it's the name version of the Dark Winter, or but what it does have above it is that RPM because it's 1200 here for this RPM. And then obviously it's 1450 for the Ouroboros. So there you guys go. 50 in the magazine and what i tell you has 20 percent weapon damage on this one yes i already got it up i'm I, i'm enjoying it i will tell you i feel like the range drop off is a little bit you, you could feel it um will it be the best best gun in the game not like it was when it was at 1650 rpm but it's still going to be very good now you can actually put this on a striker build if you want to and then obviously the rpm will go up and let me show you that in a second remember this comes with smg damage crit chance and then the final attribute is 100% you have to reroll. That's totally random. So for you guys to get that, you guys have to roll it and I'll show you in a second. So the talent you get is when an agent has a status effect, it applies to them. 50% of the ammo in their next magazine will apply the same status effect to that target. This effect will only occur during combat. So as a 10% critical hit dance scope, 25% reload speed, so the reload speed is very good. 10% critical hit chance under barrel, and then it has a 10% rate of fire. So let me show you real quick where you guys need to go once you guys get the weapon, because you might not get that damage to targets out of cover. So what you're gonna have to do is head over to this vendor right here, and she'll have it for sale. Then you can just buy the, vet, the, buy the blueprint, and then you'll go down here to the weapons. You'll go to, um, where it has little exotics, and then you just go all the way down to where you see the new exotic SMG. Now, once you see that, 
you'll definitely see that it says I need an exotic component. You need receiver components, you need poly, you need titanium, and then you need the weapon itself, and then 979 credits. And then when you look at it, it says SMG damage, critical chance, and random bonus. Now you have to roll this until you get it. I spent, I wanna say five or six exotics, and then I got it. I have a friend that spent over 50 exotics to get the random roll, and he was looking for damage to targets out of cover. I think he ended up settling with damage to armor. So if you are looking for this right here, the damage targets out of cover, you're gonna have to roll it until you get that. Now, I'll, let me show you what the RPM on a striker build is. So we'll go here. So you can see it was 1485 before. And if I put it on a striker build, right? We just have the striker build I use for the raid. If we were put it on a striker build, it has 1,688 RPM. So the difference is pretty substantial, but honestly, um, it's really up to you how you want to run it. I'll show you how it feels in the range real quick. But yeah, overall, a very solid weapon. And I can see people really using this in PvP more than PvE. People will use it in PvE, but I feel like a big, big PvP weapon for close range combat. So we're just going to... And that's with the striker stack, you see? Let me build up my stacks real quick for you. So you can see that full stacks. This thing is melting, you see it? Yeah, it's, it's melting pretty good. The rate of fire with this striker. Holy. I like it. It's definitely pretty, pretty impressive with the striker. Now you can run it with any other build, um, but yeah. That's the Ouroboros right there, guys. This wasn't a build video, just to show you guys how to get it. Just some changes that did from the PTS. And hopefully you guys see the build I have coming for this one. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.